this, ladies and gentlemen, is a unique problem that, like I said, you will see these on WebAssign. Now it says, what is the volume of carbon dioxide produced at 37 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere of pressure when 5.60 grams of glucose is used up in the reaction? And I've given you the chemical reaction there. Glucose plus, plus oxygen yields carbon dioxide and water. This is actually cellular respiration. You should have seen this in your biology classes. All right. Now, the problem here that makes this unique is that you are going to find the volume of CO2. All right. However, they only give you grams of glucose. Okay. Temperature, pressure. Now, your temperature and pressure is going to be consistent. All right. So when I come back up to PV equals NRT, okay, I need to have four out of the five. I'm trying to find the volume. Okay, I'm trying to find the volume. I have pressure, I have temperature, I have the gas constant because I know I'm dealing with atmospheres. Now my problem is I need moles, but I need moles of CO2. I'm given grams of glucose. So what I need to do is I need to do stoichiometry and go from grams of glucose to moles of carbon dioxide. That's no big deal because we know how to do stoichiometry. And I have down here a balanced chemical equation. So I can do a stoichiomic reaction to find my moles of carbon dioxide. And then once I have found that, I can go into my ideal gas law. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take this 5.60 grams of glucose. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make my box here. I'm going to flux capacitor this to moles of glucose. So I know that one mole of C6H12O6 has a molar mass of 180.1572 grams of glucose. My grams cancel. I have converted this into moles of glucose. Now I'm going to go to my balanced chemical equation and I'm going to convert from moles of glucose to moles of carbon dioxide using my molar ratio. Now I have converted this into moles of carbon dioxide when I did my math and rounded it to three sig figs I got 0 0.187 moles of CO2 now once I've got that I come back up here, now I have my moles of CO2, so now I can use PV equals NRT. I come back down and I do like I always did, P, V, N, R, T. So I go back to the problem. My pressure was equal to one 
8.0 atmospheres. My volume, that is what I'm trying to find. My moles I just calculated, that was 0 0.187 moles of carbon dioxide. My gas constant is the one that had atmospheres. So it's 0 0.0821. And finally, my temperature, my temperature was 37 degrees Celsius. I've got to convert that to Kelvin. So I add 273.15, and that gives me 310.15 Kelvin. So I've collected all my data. Now, I am going to take and I'm going to manipulate my PV equals NRT, my ideal gas law equation. I am solving for volume, so I want volume by itself. I'm going to divide both sides by P, so my volume is equal to my number of moles times my gas constant times the temperature in Kelvin divided by the pressure. So now I just need to use that equation to get my answer and plug in my numbers. My number of moles were 0 0.187 moles. My R was 0. Ooh, 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 0 0.0821 liters times atmospheres over. Kelvin times mole. My temperature was 310.15 Kelvin. All over my pressure, which was 1.0 atmospheres. Now when I go through and do my canceling, mole on top, mole on bottom, Kelvin on top, Kelvin on bottom, atmosphere on top, atmosphere on bottom, leaves me with an L. Is an L a unit for volume it is so I'm on the right track so when I did my math I came up with 4.7616 liters and I go back and I look and my original equation all the way up here here I have three sig figs here I have two here I have one so, I am, or excuse me, I have three right there. So my lowest one is two, so I'm going to make this into two sig figs. It's one, two, so does that six round that seven up? Absolutely. So to answer my question, what is the volume of carbon dioxide produced? That would be 4.8 liters of carbon dioxide. So in this particular problem I had to use stoichiometry to find one of my four variables before I could plug it into the ideal gas law equation. Okay? Any questions? Any thumbs up? That makes sense? Does that make sense what we just did? Okay.